So, I was told in my review of the Time Worn Spire that the Vigilance Wing is a better weapon in almost every instance for PvP. Well, today we find out what is going on, guys. Welcome back to the channel, and I appreciate you being here. Now, the Vigilance Wing is one of the last exotics I needed before Zer brought it. When he did, I purchased it and put it away in my vault. Iron Banner then came around, which I grinded the heck out of just to get 20 of the same weapon. That weapon being the Time One Spire, the Iron Banner Pulse Rifle. Because I got so many of them, I decided to try it out in PvP, and little did I know I would fall in love with it. You may have seen my in-depth review of this weapon. I stated it was the best PvP pulse rifle in the game, as I honestly thought that. The comment section, as you can imagine, was filled with people agreeing and disagreeing with my opinion, which was expected, but 99% of the people who disagreed with me all mentioned one other pulse rifle, the Vigilance Wing. Now, before we go any further, guys, do you want to win some epic loot? I've got emblem codes, barrel codes, gift cards, and much, much more. To win some, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and join my Discord server, linked within the video description. Okay, so actually listening to you guys, as I do all the time, I decided to give the Vigilance Wing a go in PvP, and people, you were right. This thing is an absolute beast on almost every single level. A weapon easily capable of taking out camping, team shooting, MIDA users. The range on this thing is incredible. It hits like a truck and it just feels amazing. I will state though, although there's not a massive difference to this weapon made by using kinetic counterbalance mods, there is a slight difference which in my opinion helps you uh, hit more of your shots at range which is definitely enough to warrant you using them in a game like Destiny 2 where a lot of people play PvP sitting back. Now as much as I love this thing, is it better than a Time War Inspire? Well let's first check out its perks and then we'll look at its in-depth stats and then compare them to the Time War Inspires. Okay so we have Composite Stock, Last Down which is the trait perk, Improved Weapon Performance when Wielder is the last living member of a fire team. We have Alloy Magazine, Corkscrew Rifling and the Intrinsic perk which is Harsh Truths which works amazingly I might say. This weapon fires a 5 round burst. When a nearby ally is killed, gain health regeneration and increased movement speed. It actually comes into effect way more times than you think and does save your life multiple times throughout matches for sure. So let's check out its in-depth stats. So the fire rate on this thing is 530 rounds per minute, which does equal out to about 8.83 bullets per second. But upon testing this myself, it will fire two bursts in under a second, which is 10 bullets. It's the pause in between each burst, which actually gives it 530 rounds per minute as it's taken into account all 50 bullets per clip this has. So in the right instance, you could easily take off 180 damage and land a kill in under that second. So this will do 18 to the head and 30 to the body. So damage per second to the head is 180 and damage per second to the body is 130. And this is gone by my testing of two bursts in under a second. Fastest time to kill is 1.09 seconds. This is also going by my testing and shooting 12 bullets of 18 damage. So 12 headshots or three bursts. It will empty its entire clip in 5.19 seconds. Reload time is 1.12 seconds and its ADS time is 0.8 seconds. M60-60 and the recoil direction is 79. So let's take a look at this thing's recoil. To be honest, it isn't that bad. Yes, obviously the further the target is away, the harder it will be to hit. Now you will see now, recoil with this thing with two kinetic mods stacked. Although the difference is not massive, it definitely helps a little. So the question is, is this thing better than the Time War Inspire, the Iron Banner Pulse Rifle? In my opinion, it is. I honestly think it is the better of the two. On screen now we can see a side by side comparison of the index stats between the two weapons. Although not a major difference, I just think the Vigilance Wing just has the edge with range, handling and stability. So there we have it people, my apologies for being wrong about the best PvP pulse rifle in the game which I had tested so far, although at the time of me covering the Time War Inspire I hadn't actually used the Vigilance Wing which I know isn't very professional on my behalf so I apologise for that. But yes guys, the Vigilance Wing is a true monster within PvP, a weapon I have now fell in love with. Thanks for you guys for telling me to use this thing, I appreciate that and I also appreciate the support you've shown me on my channel with Destiny 2 even though the game is pretty dry at the minute. But guys I hope you enjoyed the video, do hit that like button as I do really appreciate that support. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on my next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.
getting round.